Hey everyone, Sherlock Homo here. Welcome back to the channel. So as you can see today, we are going to be reacting to Netflix The Trial of the Chicago 7 trailer. Just like The Queen's Gambit, I don't know anything about this trailer or this movie. I do know, however, well I guess I do know one thing. I do know that it has got a pretty star-studded cast. I mean, it's got Sasha Baron Cohen, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Yahya Abdul-Mateen, as well as Eddie Redmayne. So those are already four pretty big names, and when you can get you know, a good number of celebrities and talent into your trailer and movie, that really lends some credence to it. So I have to say I'm pretty excited to see this. I don't know anything, anything else about it other than the cast, but like I said, I'm really, really excited to check it out. So without further ado, let's give this thing a look. We want to underscore again that we're coming to Chicago peacefully, but when Whoa, we're Whoa, with the tonight, accent. We're coming. Wow. We're going to Chicago to protest the Vietnam War. And there's no place to be right now, but in Oh, I already think I'm going to like this. For a decade while these rebels without a job tell us how to prosecute a war. No. Uh, they're going to spend God. their 30s in a federal facility. These kind of people. Oh, man, this cast. Are you concerned about an overreaction from the cops? Wow, this looks like very topical, huh? Oh my, that would be terrifying. Whoa, Aaron Sorkin. Okay, they're trying, I think they're going for awards with this. These defendants had a plan, and the plan was to incite a riot. I call this portion of the trial with friends like these. My trials begun without my lawyer. The court assumes you are being represented by the Black Panther sitting behind. Oh my! Are you kidding me? Whoa! Michael Keaton. The cast. Well, I think I'm gonna like this. Can you tell us why? Because this is my courtroom. Wow, the corruption. Is this today or is this supposed to be in the 70s? Get your hands off me! First, to suggest that I have discriminated against a black man. Then let the record show that I'm the second. Ooh. <laughs> this morning, they were chanting that the whole world is watching. If we leave here without saying anything about why we came in the first place, it'll be heartbreaking. Well, last summer, why did you come to the convention? To end this, the war. I'm just saying it over and over. This looks so good. A stage in audience. You really think this a little boring, but topical. This is what revolution looks like, real revolution. We may have to hurt somebody's feelings. Sasha Baron Cohen is really going all in here. I'm tired of hearing you. It would be impossible for me to care any less what you are tired of. Pretty sure that would get him arrested. <laughs> we have to find some courage now. What's your price? To call off the revolution? My life. Oh, wow. Wow. The new day is dawning. Huh. That just felt extremely topical and like something maybe we should all be a uh, little focused on at the moment. So I like that trailer quite a bit. Uh, just kind of the same thing I was saying with the Queen's Gambit trailer. It does seem a little boring, a little slow moving, but at least with this one we have a topical and exciting theme. Everyone can relate right now, I feel like, to police corruption and violence and injustice in society. And I in some ways feel like we have it more now than ever before, at least it seems so open and honest. Uh, the cast in that, I know I said it multiple times, the actual reaction, but I'm gonna say it again, is blowing me away. I love Michael Keaton. I, you know, I'm a huge fan. If anyone has ever heard of or seen the movie Birdman, I love it so much. It's probably my favorite movie of all time. I absolutely recommend checking it out. It's, I'm pretty sure it's like his brainchild. He's at least the star of it. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. Back to this movie, Netflix is bringing it. I think they're really going for awards with that one, with the cast, with the topic, with the way it was filmed. It just felt like they're really trying to make something special here. And right before, it's October 17th, I believe it said it was. We're getting real close to the election. They got people chanting, the whole world is watching. I think Netflix, or at the very least, Aaron Sorkin and this cast are trying to make some kind of political statement. No National Voter Registration Day was very recently. I hope anyone who watches this is registered to vote. And if you are of legal age, absolutely 100% vote. It has never been more important. And with that, 
Thank you so much for watching. Please, please, please like this video. Subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to put out more videos. I'm trying to do a lot more reactions. If you guys have any ideas of things you would like me to react to, comment down below. I'm definitely going to be looking through all of that. So, you know, help me out. I love to make these videos. I love reacting to things. I love television. I love film. I love it all. So I'm going to be here. Might as well come check me out. And so without anything else to say, I'm just going to say thank you so much for watching me and, you know, until the next time, bye.